Hey, welcome back to News 6, a special coverage of America's return to space. We are watching as astronauts Doug Hurley and Bob Bankin are now doing checks before they enter the capsule. You see these uh, two stormtrooper looking people right there <laughs> in front of us. Behind them is the capsule. They just came across the crew access arm. They had some black Sharpies and they signed their names there uh, in the white room. It's as a, is tradition. New, uh, yes, something that they're doing right now and they're kind of doing the final checks before they hop into that capsule and get belted in. And they're gonna be there for a while until 4.33 uh, when things really get started. Well, when, that's when we hope we will have liftoff and it's one of those uh, windows, you know, normally when you watch a launch, you have like a two or three hour window, but this is an instantaneous window. If it does not go off at 4.33, then it's not gonna go today. The next opportunity will be Saturday and then again on Sunday. But we're hoping that we don't have to look that far down the road to witness history and what's happening here today as these two men who are cool as cucumbers, I might add. I, I'm, my stomach is upset, and I'm, I'm just being honest. It's just watching all of this you know, play out today. But this is what they live for. Of and course. that moment, I believe that was Doug Hurley who just climbed down into the capsule. Bob Bankin here is in the foreground. They're both about to go and take their seats. And hopefully those space suits are comfy because they are gonna be there for a while. They've gotta wait until 4.33 for liftoff. Then it's about a 19 hour journey to the space station. They won't get there until tomorrow. Bob Bankin, the Swiss Army knife of astronauts, he calls himself, yeah, gets I've, down. I into feel that like capsule. this will be a fairly comfortable journey for them because there are two of them in that Crew Dragon and it's designed to hold up to seven uh, people. And at some point it probably will. But for now, these two men are on the maiden voyage of the Crew Dragon heading to the International Space Station. and. You know, it's something we have not seen happen in almost nine years it's from American soil anyway. It is very special. You can see the members of the crew are following them into the capsule to do those last minute checks of their communications. They're gonna make sure that those helmets are working, that they can talk to mission control and that the communication is good. They're also gonna check the suits, make sure there are no mm -hmm. leaks and uh, that'll be the final preparations before the crew then leaves and then they lock them in that capsule. Yeah, and the one thing that you will, we've talked about this before, both of these men are veteran of the space shuttle programs, each having two uh, a piece under their belts. And if you talk to them, they will tell you the space shuttle had some 3,000 switches and it was more of a machine you really had to fly. The Crew Dragon is made to be almost autonomous. Mm -hmm. Now they have to know what to do in case of an emergency and in case things have to go manually, but it almost flies itself to the International Space Station. And uh, Doug Hurley was saying he was actually looking forward to doing less flying and just kind of enjoying the ride, but knowing that if something happens, they have to take control instantly and, and guide this thing to safety. But if you can imagine going from something where you have 3,000 switches to a screen. Yes, exactly, <laughs> yeah. exactly. And what's happening right now with these final checks, they're going to make sure everything's good. They're going to lock them into those seats. And then you're going to notice as those seats rotate up, and that's the moment, I, I know there's a lot of moments we're going to see today. <laughs> it's all a moment. It, it is. <laughs> the moment with their families outside the mm -hmm. Teslas was pretty magical. This one, I just picture from the astronaut's point of view, when they take that seat, and then they have you basically laying on your back and point you up, and then you're just looking out up at the sky that you're about to dive into. I can't imagine that moment, and very few people on planet Earth can picture that moment or what it would feel like. Yeah, but they have been preparing for this for, you know, if you ask them, this is the moment they've lived for for their entire lives and been getting ready for because these two gentlemen are test pilots. They've each, you know, flown in some 25 uh, aircraft. And these are the guys you want to pilot something for the first time because that's what test pilots do. And this is the excitement for them. You know, we live for news stories where we can narrate and tell you what's going along. This is like their version of us doing a live report. They are doing it and living it for the first time and we get to witness it. This, this is certainly the Super Bowl. You can see uh, Doug Hurley closest to us. We've got Eric Von Anken uh, who is out at that area. And I gotta say, when we take Boy. these <laughs> shots where we're zoomed out, oh. the weather situation does not look ideal out there. 